Welcome along to another DERA online services help video. In this video we're going to show you how the Government Gateway two-factor authentication system functions. You should be able to understand how you can access your two-factor authentication options and how you can change those options to suit your need. Two-factor authentication has been switched on on many of our Government Gateway accounts already and if you don't already have it activated you can opt to add two-factor authentication to your account at any time. The purpose of two-factor authentication is to keep you and most importantly your data safe and secure. So in order to access DERA online services, not only does the user need to know both the government gateway ID and password, but they also need to have access to the two-factor authentication option. And that may be a text message sent to a mobile phone. It could be a voice call sent to a landline or you have the option to use the two-factor authentication app on your smartphone or tablet. So before we can adjust any of our settings, we'll log in to Government Gateway as normal. So this particular account has got two-factor authentication switched on. So I type in my ID and my password, and we can see we're now asked for our access code. The access code will be sent to the mobile phone number, in this case ending in 2312. If you don't have access to that mobile phone number, then you may need to contact your local DERA Direct office for more advice. But once you receive the access code as a text message, you enter the access code into the appropriate box and click continue. And now we have successfully logged into DERA online services and you can use all of the various available services as normal. But if you wish to modify the two-factor authentication settings to suit your needs, you must visit the My Profile section of DERA online services, visit the Login Details section and choose the button Manage Profile. Now we can decide that we're going to continue and update our DERA Government Gateway settings and we'll click Continue. And here we can see the various information associated to your DERA Government Gateway account. So I can see name, email address and password, all of which can be changed or modified. But for this video, we're going to concentrate on the security preferences. So we can see that our first mobile number has been set up and this was the mobile number that I received the access key to when I first logged in. We can add two additional options, but before we do that, I'm going to change or modify the existing number to a number which is more useful to me. So I'll choose the update option. I will choose the option to change my mobile number and I'll click continue. It asks me, is this a UK number? Yes, it is and I'll click continue and I will enter in my UK mobile phone number. And click send access code. So an access code has now been sent to my newly nominated mobile number and once I receive that code, I enter it into the box and click continue. So now we have the message to say that my mobile number has been updated and now I can check my security preferences and this is my new mobile number. In some cases it may be more convenient to add additional options to two-factor authentication. In this example I want to add a second mobile number and I can do that by choosing the add option. I then get asked do I wish to add a text message option to a mobile phone, a voice call message to a landline or do I want to use the authentication app. We're going to use the text message option so we receive a text message to our mobile phone. This number is going to be a UK landline number. And we're going to enter in the mobile number. And send an access code. So now I'll receive a text message to my newly nominated mobile number. And I'll enter in the code that I've just received. So I've now got confirmation that the second option has been set up and I can go and check my details. So now I have got two different mobile phone numbers that I can choose to receive the code towards. If I want to add a third option, then maybe I choose a voice call rather than a mobile number. I can click continue. I'll enter in the landline number. And click call me. So I've now received a phone call 
and when I pick the handset up I will hear a six digit code being read out and I'll enter in that six digit code to confirm the details are correct. So now I've added up my third option onto the system. So now I can check my details again and we can see I've got two mobile options and one landline option. And at any point I can change or modify any of these options. And now that I have my options set up correctly, what I'll do is log out of DERA Online Services and we'll see how these options work in practice. So I'm back at the DERA Online Services login page. I will choose sign in. I will choose my government gateway ID and password. And you can now see I'm offered the three different options. I can choose to receive a text message to my first mobile number, to my second mobile number, or I can receive the code as a voice call to my landline. For this example, I'll choose the second option and click continue. I've now received a text message code to my mobile phone and I'll enter the code into the appropriate box. I'll click continue and I'm now logged on to DERA Online Services and I can proceed to use the appropriate service as normal. At any point, if I wish to update my details, I can do that using the My Profile option within DERA Online Services. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you do have any more questions about DERA Online Services or using the Government Gateway two-factor authentication, please feel free to contact us using the information shown on screen.